Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see a quick tip about how to launch configuration manager reports from console as well as from web portal, right? So first of all, you need to launch the console and you need to go to monitoring uh, in monitoring, you can see a uh, reporting option, reporting node over here, right? And if you click on reports, right, it will show up all the reports, default reports available for uh, your use. Okay. The category is important column over here. From the category, you can segregate each type of reports, right? administrative security alerts asset intelligence right if i if i go down you can see device management hardware right operating system related reports power management related reports replication traffic related reports okay all those reports you can see site related reports software related reports right so in configuration manager 2010 you can see um, there are 471 default reports available okay how to launch the report now for example okay if i say all collections want to launch all collections report right you can right click and click on run uh, that is one option and the other option is go to the ribbon menu over here and click on run okay so i'm going to run this report let's see how the report is getting populated so now it is fetching the details from the database okay so depending on the performance of your database you would be able to see the reports right Let's click on HDMD, HDMD collection and see, uh, you can see one device over there. Okay. And you can see the details. What are the, what, what is this report for and all the other details, right? Um, report description display all of the package and program deployments that apply to a specific computer okay so that is one kind of report you can close this after use and you can see uh, application deployment report right basic application deployment report what is this over here you need to choose value if you want to if you want to select so this uh, report display displays summary information for all application deployments okay so you can click on value and you can see two options there one is application the other one is collection right so i'm using application and probably i will use collection right that is easy for me in this scenario and then select application collection right so i will say the same collection and now i need to select a collection again right let's try to select the same sorry this is application select the value to use for the parameter when running the report okay so I'm going to select all. Okay. So let's see how this works and click on view reports now to get a view of reports. Okay. As you can see, I don't have much data in this, in this lab environment. So let me put something like 365 days or something okay and run the report 
okay so if i put 365 days you can see a lot of reports available right okay so that's good um now let's close this and probably let's launch the report from the portal web portal so this is a web portal where you can launch the uh, reports right so this is the this is the reporting server which i am connecting to this is the reporting server sql memcm and report report server this is the url okay and you can see you can see different types of reports over here also similar to console okay and you can open up any any reports like if you want to open operating system the new tab probably let's try that right this is this is operating system related reports and you can see computer operating system history is the first report over here let's open that up in a different tab and select my test device and see what does the operating system version right so this is a useful report in some time right this is a useful report you can you can see the install date last boot time etc etc right okay so that was a quick overview of configuration manager default reports Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.